Happy autumn, everybody. It is football Sunday. Unfortunately, since I'm so under the weather, we will not be have a well, well, we will not be having NFL crazy Sunday like we usually do. This is better. Come here, guys. <laughs> you guys just motorboarded my boyfriend. That's gross. Ugh. Anyways, uh, I'm still gonna go get some food, and Danny and I are gonna have our own little get together. But I just cannot imagine having people over right now. I can barely talk to uh, you guys, and I talk to you guys all the time. Right, <laughs> just knock into the me's. Good headrest. Everybody's ready for football Sunday. Stay. The pups. My headrest. This pup. Zia thinks we're going for a walk because the camera's out. It's Pavlov's dog. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some food. And we're gonna sit here and enjoy ourselves, and then carve these pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. I officially bit the bullet and got a bunch of cold meds. So we'll see if I can finally stop being sick. I feel like I've been like sick for two weeks, although the last like four days have been particularly awful. If I don't feel better tomorrow, I have to go to the doctor. I hate going to the doctor, so let's try and avoid that. I'm so excited. I bought a pineapple so that I can carve it and make a pineapple a lantern. I'm really excited. I'm not excited because I dropped a uh, chicken wing on my lap, so oh my I'm covered in sauce. It looks like you got poop on your pants. I don't. It's not poop. Is it poop? No. Did you just poop your pants? No. On the front? Where, when, I, when I dropped it though, Mr. King just started going to town. He's like, ah, ah, Danny's gonna go spend the afternoon with his parents. They had a pipe break in their house, so they have a lot of work to do. So he's gonna go check in on them, see if he can help out at all, which I really appreciate about him. That's a good man. Go help your parents out. In the meantime, I think we're gonna go on a walk. See ya. You wanna go outside? Mies, you wanna go outside? Let's do it. Let's go for a walk. I mean, show Zia how you drop solo. Good boy. Oh no, I just got to my mom's house and they had a pipe burst in their house and they're pretty much spending their whole weekend just gutting this side wall, which the other side is a bathroom and then this side is a bedroom where it was just like, leaked everywhere. I guess the one thing you can take away from that is have a rainy day fun because shit happens. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, when I was younger, a wee lad, I used to kickbox. There's like a picture of me where I'm like doing a split kick. Uh, it was my jam. That was my thing, like, in between elementary school and middle school. And I won a trophy that was, like, as big as me. Yeah. Even though I won it, like, sometime after 1997. It was, like, 1999. <laughs> I could tell it was a hand-me-down, but still. Could you imagine being a kid and holding up that trophy? My mom still keeps it. She's awfully proud of me. <laughs> also, look at this. I, I, I love coming to my mom's house. I get to see like all these old things from my past and show you guys who I was. This was the game I would play on Sega Genesis. Still have it in the box, good to go. And it's funny because I just purchased NHL 2015 like two weeks ago. <laughs> so 20 years later, I'm still playing the same game. Too funny. This is the photo I was just referencing where I'm jumping and doing a split kick. That was my sensei, Sensei Reggie. <laughs> anyway, later on that day I won a trophy because I am a special boy. I was just looking through some of the comments today and I have it in the past couple of days and I realized that I did something pretty insensitive uh, the other day, the day that it was basically the full Lindsay vlog because Danny was beating the vault of glass or whatever it's called on Destiny. But I referred to my voice as being retarded and I feel really bad about it because I know how insensitive that is and how hurtful that can be. So I just wanted to apologize to everybody, but I just wanted to let you guys know that it really is something that's super insensitive to say. I worked for a long time with kids with autism through um, my developmental program in school when I was in college getting my psychology degree. And I'm not really sure what I was thinking. I definitely uh, wasn't in my right frame of mind when I said it. So I just wanted to say that I'm sorry and also put out to the rest of you who are standing up for me. I really appreciate everybody who stood up for me in that. But 
my true belief is that I shouldn't have said it and I think we all should stop saying it too. Because the one thing about our channel is that we try and stay positive and anytime that we are hurting other people or setting other people apart, that's, that's not what we want to do. It's been a long day. Danny has worked really hard in the yard, helped out his parents. Ugh. I have sat here trying to recuperate. I clean the house. But I think we're going to go have sushi with Bill. Bill? His girlfriend Elena, you guys know her, and Joe Bucci, we're all gonna eat some sushi. And I'm stoked, I need this, I need a good dinner. We just sat down, just sat down, and I look over. We haven't even ordered food yet. Somebody's a little excited. You know what this table reminds me of? It reminds me of like in movies, like Rush Hour, when like the sushi restaurant is like the evil, like the drug dealing restaurant. Which one are you This is like the dark lighting table that they would sit at. It is very, it is very ominous. Note that there's definitely enough room for me to be sitting over here, but Danny made me get a chair so I wasn't so close. <laughs> oh, you just caught on these. Trade you. <laughs> oh gosh. Man. If you guys have ever seen Pulp Fiction, you would know that this is the best wallet ever. <laughs> How long have you had that? This like, is actually my third one. I've had them for several years. Oh, nice. But yeah. you keep getting them because you're not going to find a better wallet than that. That's right. That's <laughs> the best one I found. So I'm staying with it. Obviously inspired by Pulp Fiction. Obviously. Nice. What a great movie. If you haven't seen that, that's Quentin Tarantino's, like, one of his first major blockbusters. Go watch that one. We had to come into this frozen yogurt spot because after you go to dinner, you got to get yogurt with some nice toppings. <laughs> what are you doing? Sitting at this strawberry shortcake table. You don't want to sit at like one of the normal tables? Do you know that that's too small for you? <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. Nisa, why you gotta be such a butthole sometimes? Why don't you just make me friends? Joe's a good guy. He's my friend. Come on, buddy. Yeah, just be curious. Make friends. But if he scratches his head, he won't do anything. Here it goes. Yeah. yeah. You Making go. friends you like you should. That's what it's all about. Yeah. See, we're friends now. No. No growling. All right, guys, it's time for my favorite time of this month. Carving pumpkins. Woo! Well, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So ready. Uh, I am going to do what I normally do. It's kind of a tradition now. I've done it two years in a row. This will be my third year. I looked at other designs, and I can't, I like, can't fall in love with anything else. It's just my favorite Halloween movie, Jack Skellington. I've got to do it. He's just... It looks so cool on a pumpkin. It's hard to do wrong. And I'll add some touches. Maybe I'll add like a DLV or something like that. Are you doing Tinkerbell? Doing Tinkerbell. Then she's going to have fairy dust coming out over here. That's awesome. I'm really excited. Those fingers, they look like they get pretty intricate. You You're intricate. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be offended, but that's actually a compliment. I know. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm wondering how we're going to film this. <laughs> What's a time lapse? What? Scary me, sir? You think it's scary? So scary. I think it's scary. Such a good jack. Is that Tinkerbell? Yeah. That's really good. Should we put candles in them and see if it looks good in the dark? Yup. <laughs> Ooh. These are good ones. Mine looks so good. Yours really does look like Tinkerbell. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. You did a good Wait, job. Wait, can you see the sparkles Danny. on the side? You did a good job, Danny. <laughs> now Lindsay's moved on to her pineapple. Which I'm really excited about. I'm gonna leave it in the house, I think. Yeah. Smells good. It smells great. It smells better than pumpkins, that's for sure. Excuse me, miss. I love pineapple juice. Oh. I really do. I feel like it's really sugary and it makes my stomach hurt, but it is good tasting. Guess what? I finished my pineapple lantern and it's so stinking cute and scary. I love it. It looks like one of those little shrunken heads that they make in uh, wherever that is. I don't know. Jamaica. Is that where the shrunken heads are? Somewhere. The witch doctors of the islands. Let's go so put our... Know. Oh, did we show them our pumpkins outside yet? No. Do you want to hear? Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, 
spooky. That's a good one. That's Danny's. And here's my Tinkerbell. <laughs> this looks so cute. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we are going to say good night. That was a nice little <laughs> October day. <coughs> yeah. Ew. I'm sorry. My nipple just got warm after that cough. I'm sorry. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching the vlogs. As always, tomorrow I'll be better. Fingers crossed. I hope. Uh, I'm so sick of being sick. Oh. Alright guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.